So what's up you guys, it is Dragonblaze here and today we're back with another tier list. Last time it was the tier list of the Unite beta of a few months ago. Um, and now we're going to do the Unite beta tier list of this game, um, of the Unite beta that was out um, a few days ago from only in Japan. So um, in this game there are like a few changes with some characters. I do want to talk about those uh, changes because they're pretty interesting and they could be, um, well, they could be actually leading us to the actual game where the characters will be having um, these changes or maybe some extra changes, but I basically want to just talk about them. Uh, if you like this topic, uh, once again, I uh, saw so that the previous video was pretty well received, uh, which I really do appreciate. Um, go leave a comment, leave a like down below. Um, I'm once again at the moment streaming on Twitch. Uh, you can go to my Twitch where I will also be playing a lot of Pokemon Unite. Probably also will be bringing out more uh, content regarding Pokemon Unite, but I just wanted to put it out there. Um, and then also in my Discord, we're probably also going to talk about lots of Pokemon Unite there. So. Um, we're going to be starting off with um, S tier, of course, and let me tell you that um, regardless, like, uh, the overall tier list, I think in my opinion, really has changed because this, um, this version of the beta, um, really changed some characters. So, let's start off with S tier. Well, S tier, we actually still have Talonflame because I feel like he just did not get changed and there is just no other character who is, like, on his level. He still does a million damage, still can, um, go after you. He's still in, like, interactable um uninteractable whenever he uses fly so like the character is still ridiculous <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um i want to also note that there were two months not in this game and one month added this month is um wigglytuff which is um i'm going to put wigglytuff right now as gardevoir um but gardevoir is actually one of these months that's actually not in the game together with blastoise um so yeah i cannot talk about them but because i do not really have an icon for wigglytuff i'm going to put gardevoir right now that's really tough um so for the um actually for the second one that's going to be in s tier i actually don't know that uh 100 just because i felt like pikachu was still very strong but i did not feel like he was as strong as in um the previous um as in the previous beta um and Tito's and I were talking about it, and he actually reconfirmed this one uh, to me as well, that he felt like uh, Pikachu wasn't as strong, so um, I do not think that Pikachu is like S tier anymore, like that's just, for me at least, like my experience was that he wasn't as broken, um, but he, still, he was still very, 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 very strong. Um, so what I want to do is I want to actually put Pikachu here in very strong, um, but I did feel like he was really really good i um, might actually even want to make like an a plus tier or something but we'll see about that later so um let's go now in order right a uh, cramorant felt like this character was ridiculous um i'm gonna put it in very good um first cramorant really surprised me i did not know too much about him in the previous beta but in this one he does mad damage he has a good early game where he has i think like this whirlpool move um or like this wave move and dude it just does so much damage like the the whirlpool move does like 60 percent if you're just stuck in it um his ult does a lot of damage he has um he has okay mobility as well um but the thing the biggest thing about this character he does mad damage like for real like I, i've gotten destroyed by cramorants before um and yeah it was not fun it was not fun also uh we're going to um absol right now i'm going to put absol in a good pick just because i felt like this character um he he was strong but there was just something missing like there really was just something missing i felt as well like his um his ult was like one of the better things about the character um but other than that like his his buttons weren't as great like i don't know like maybe because i felt like he was like the weakest speedster in my opinion like in, i might actually want to put him in needs more work but it wasn't bad but i don't know man <laughs> it wasn't also like super op or something so yeah Charizard, I'm gonna put him in very good because I felt like the character had lots of, um, well, lots of strong points. Um, like he, he can fly, be invincible, hit you with that. Um, his ult is very strong. He has uh, strong buttons. He does a lot of damage. So it's just really decent. 
Um, now we're gonna go to a character that I did not expect that was actually gonna be this strong. Um, and at some point I even was like, I almost wanna put him in S because I'm just, you know what? Maybe I actually am gonna make a um, an A plus tier actually because there, <laughs> There were just some months where I was just I, I, I was just so surprised. I was just so surprised. Um, okay, very, very strong, <laughs> but not Taloflame. Like, <laughs> basically that. Um, then we also have just normal A, which is very strong. And then we also have, I guess, B. So just good pick because like to be honest i think yeah i think this one is a bit better because honestly i put crustle there crustle crustle is a character that either i did not see anything of this character in the in the previous beta or he got mega buffed because first off, this character just does not seem to die. Second off, he has his um, trapping move, which <laughs> I don't know how, how like how much cooldown it has, but it felt like it wasn't that big for how much it does. And the second thing is he has very strong buttons. He has like I think X scissor or something or Fury Cut or whatever it may be. He hits you, it stuns you, you're stuck in it, and it does 60 damage. And then he can just keep on hitting you. I was surprised. I've had it that I was playing with Tito's. I think he was playing Pikachu. I was playing Nine Tools, and we were in bot lane. And then a uh, a Crustle. We're fighting against a Crustle and a um, and an Eldegoss, and we were just straight up losing. It was painful. Like it was so difficult to actually get through. And also, hey, um, Blake, uh, what's up? Yeah, Crustle CC is so oppressive. It really is oppressive, and um, he he can he can straight up one v one you. He can like 1v1 so many characters, like any support he can 1v1, he can 1v1 um, attackers, because he because attackers don't have a lot of health, so he can just go in on them, trap them, and just hit them up, and he doesn't die, and they do! Like, I, I've had moments where I would be trying to 1v1 a Crustle with Ninetales, and, and I would just lose. So, and even though I'm stunning him and everything, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. I, I did, I just did not. I, I couldn't with the character. I just couldn't. I, I, <laughs> bruh, this, this character really was something else. He really, really, really was something else. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like uh, what I want to say about Crustle. Um, he, oh my gosh, he, he is a strong pick now. Um, now we go to um, Elder Gods, and I feel like Elder Gods goes into very strong. Um, because uh, in the previous uh, variant, I couldn't really see too much of that character. Um, and thank you as well for, for the drink. <laughs> I didn't really see too much of the character. Heels were okay, whatever. But I feel like in this variant, um, like, I'm not sure, but did it, like, buff the damage or something? And as well, like, the heals and the duration or whatever. This character is mad heals. The only thing is, is that um, this character cannot do anything alone. Like, you have to be there with at least, like, one character, you know? Um, to to support but it's not as if like the character now is I I can only do something really when it's like 3v2 or something uh, this character can now uh, as well do some stuff when it's 2v2 and um, the, the, the damage is okay the buttons are good and I feel like they they really did this character um, justice they they did what they had to do with this character and I'm very happy about it um, so now we go to Garchomp Garchomp still goes into um, a very strong um, but not Talonflame. Like, the, the character still does mad damage, um, but one of the things that I do not like is they actually nerf the character. They nerfed Dig. Dig used to be this move where you can just, uh, you activate it, you go, uh, underground and you get the increased movement speed. And when you go up, there is no animation, you just pop up. But now, they changed it that there is a set distance that you can dig. So now, like, his range of dig is, like, way less, so he can chase less and escape less. Um, and now as well, when he comes up from the ground, he does an animation that he's hitting. Like, the, the animation that he normally would have in the previous beta that only activates whenever he hits someone, he now has it all the time. So now, he always has an animation of hitting something, which means that you're stuck in a bit of lag, uh, which gives the opponent maybe 
enough time to actually close in on you and then you know take you out so that is quite unfortunate but other than that this character still can 1v1 a zap boss he can still 1v1 um a dreadnought like he he can he is very good at just um single target um the like removal and also he can um still do a lot of damage with aoe uh, with his earthquake so i felt like this character was still very good and um yeah i'm <laughs> very happy with uh with how they uh with, with how he just could do his things so yeah good stuff to him um then we also have um now wigglytuff <laughs> guard of where you see but it's wigglytuff wigglytuff goes into very strong because i felt like wigglytuff had some very good stuns and um the character could just do a lot the character could do a lot she could uh stun people uh, i think also the old gift shields but i think tiros uh tried really tough once he really liked really tough but um the moment that we had to get shields i did not see any so i was like oh, okay but uh the character is in my opinion just a good support um okay damage um the stuns and the sleeps are nice you um you're able to um you know <laughs> get some good supporting from this character i feel like really tough is not bad and uh, now we go to um gengar i've heard that people think that gengar is very good i've seen um i've not seen gengar's feet so and that's what i'm really happy about but i've also like i think i've had it once as gengar uh, carried um but i i don't know i just don't see too much of this of this character i still think he's very strong and i could probably put him in like very strong but not talent flame but i just otherwise like i really feel like i would have i would have noticed if it, if it really was that bad but yeah um that is kind of what i have to say about um about Gengar. I think that he's very good, um, but I just straight up need to see more. Um, then we go into a mon that I actually think deserves to be in this tier, um, because his specials, in my opinion, aren't really that strong, and that's Greninja. I feel like Greninja has like, oh, like he has good range, but. I don't know like he he only has like i think what is shuriken moves and he has like an escape move but it does no damage and i think that's the biggest one he has an escape that does no damage or that cannot be used as a um as a damaging move like he can just get away and they can just make um what's it called he can make copies of himself but the thing is that it's quite obvious if you're in like a um if you're in a situation where you need to get away it's quite obvious which way you're going to you're going backwards so every single time that you're creating a, a copy of yourself and like your your point is on the right and there is one going up and one going to the left towards your opponent it's quite obvious that the other one that's going to the back is the real one so um in my opinion he, he has like a dash but he really felt underwhelming and i felt like he needs more um he either needs more speed but but like he's he's a damage character so he could probably use more damage and just better buttons to be honest because yeah and like um like blake is saying um greninja just felt really underwhelming like he just wasn't it to be honest um so yeah that's kind of what i have to say about him lucario goes into a uh, very strong but not talent flame because lucario straight up just honestly i might oh oh like <sighs> kind of want to maybe even put him in like s because like he's together with um with crustle together with crustle he just oh my gosh i've had moments where you would just try to 1v1 this character and he just keeps on getting steadfast and steadfast activates at like so around like even half hp which is crazy so it gets increased movement speed he gets more shields then he can just keep on hitting you aura sphere goes all the way across the screen like bruh this character would be so ridiculous to fight against sometimes so like i i felt like he was it was kind of it was kind of around around down flames level i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie but like i feel like a down flame is just at a, at a place where he Oh, he, he is so, like, he's so untouchable there. And it's, like, one of, quite literally, one of the things about him is, is that he has a move where he just, you straight up cannot interact with him. And when he does that move, he is so, he's, like, in, uh, you, he's so fast and everything. So, Talon Flame is really on another level, but I felt like Lucario was getting very close to that. Uh, Machamp, very surprising, but this character is very good as well. He has very good speed for how 
for for like from what we know of this character because in the games he has like what base 55 or 60 speed but in this game he just runs at you and he just does close combat he goes in this character is crazy um a bone rush play from a rush super yeah dude honestly um lucario really is ridiculous i know uh, but yeah, um, Machamp, just very strong, can go after you, does a lot of damage, um, and yeah, he, like, in my opinion, he really surprised me, because in the previous beta, I just didn't really see too much of him, but, um, I've had much, I've had Machamp's actually carry games, so, good to him. Um, then we also have Mr. Mime, and Mr. Mime was an interesting one to me, because I felt like the first time that I fought against Mr. Mime, it was very good, and fought with Mr. Mime, it was very good, but, um, after that, it was, like, kind of okay, I kind of, like, I kind of want to put him in a good pick, because I just don't feel like he is strong, but not very strong, you know, like, he's a good pick, but it might be he could still use a bit of work, just a bit but like he he is very close to you know being like very strong to like to me like but but once again i just felt like mr mom just wasn't like he he wasn't like crazy in putting up barriers and then destroying you or something he's he's a nice support that's that's uh, something that i can say though but i felt like the first day or two that the game was out i saw mr mom and then later on i didn't really see him anymore um yeah so that's kind of all i want to say uh, Alola Ninetales goes into A+, plus because I think this character is ridiculously strong and very, very ver um, versatile. You can use Alola Ninetales as a support as well, I've already uh, talked about this before, but I use Alola Ninetales as support and it really works because slowing with the basic attack, uh, freezing as well, because uh, I think after like... Um, um, I think free you get the freeze after like 3 or 4 hits or something. Um, very strong. Um, Dazzling Gleam, very good for supporting, uh, you can uh, help your teammates by using Blizzard, you also have the Ice Wall move, but I don't really like that one. Um, I do think that the ult uh, is sometimes a bit lacking, sometimes, because like the um, the startup of it, sometimes it's just kind of like whatever, and, so, and I sometimes get hit out of the startup or killed in the startup, so... Um, that sucks, but yeah, um, Blaze, I think Mr. Mime is powerful in choke points. Yeah, that, that's something though, I do feel like, uh, for example, like, I don't think that Mr. Mime is bad, but I feel like he's very niche in what he does, and what, that thing, he does very well, but other than that, it's kind of, okay, you know? Like, whenever I see a Mr. Mime, I'm not scared or whatever, you know? Like, he, he, like, I know that he won't do mad damage on me or whatever, so... Um, yeah, I, I think that he has like a niche thing. He has like a niche supporting thing, um, which he can do just very well. Um, let me see, Cinderace. Have to be honest, like the first time that I played with Cinderace, um, it was like okay. Then later on, Tito's used Cinderace as well, and he was just like, this character sucks. Then he used him later on, and he was just like, he was, he, he was good. But I still feel like from my experience, Cinderace is. He's like he's like strong, um, he's he's strong, but there are better options in my opinion. Like that, that, but that's just me. That's just me. I feel like there are stronger options in my opinion than Cinder Ace, um, but um, he's not bad or anything. Not bad at all. Like he's a good pick. Slow bro. Um, also one of the characters that I almost wanted to put in S because um, I use Slow bro myself, and like when I look, when I think back. Um, in the previous uh, beta, I thought that Slower was, like, you know, strong, he had, like, good damage and stuff. Uh, Cinderace is super strong in the jungle. I've not seen that a lot, actually, Blake, so maybe that's why, <laughs> like, our experiences are just so different, but, um, Slowbro has lots of HP, he has, um, very good supporting moves, which, in my opinion, like, I understand that he's a defender, but dude, I felt like this character was more like a support with a lot of HP because of a uh, surf doing mad damage like for real mad damage for a defender that it's it, like if someone gets hit with all the hits it does like 60% of their health um, and I don't know it also hits multiple targets is very good in my opinion um, and he also has the stun with um, telekinesis and honestly if you if you have like one character just 
uh, held down with telekinesis and you have like another teammate who's like an attacker or an all-rounder that's done <laughs> like this character is very good and also his ult is crazy his ult is absolutely crazy so um yeah felt like he was really 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 good um, Snorlax, Snorlax goes into uh, very strong as well. Um, let me just say that <laughs> once again, you can notice how every single defender is in very strong because they are. They they are just very tanky damage dealers um, who don't die <laughs> easily. Like Snorlax um, was also one of those. Um, I mean, I've also seen like lots of Snorlax feed, but then the other Snorlax that I would face because don't those who never feed um they stay alive for millions of years they stun you a million times um and they just keep on surviving and it's, they're just sonics is so annoying like i felt like i needed more time with this game to be honest i just needed more time uh because once again i felt like uh, specifically the defenders were very strong um and Cramorant. those were the surprises to me those were the most surprising characters to me oh and also lucario actually those were one of the biggest surprises to me where i was just like whoa it's it is quite intense what some of these characters can do um in comparison to like the previous game uh previous beta um but yeah snorlax is one of them and then we also have venusaur and once again blasters were not in the game uh, i feel like venusaur was a very strong just because he does like mad damage with solar beam um, but other than that, I felt like it was kind of just like um, how where I play Cinder Ace right now that there are just stronger characters than him. Um, but Venusaur still, you know, he, he does good damage. Um, and once again, Solar Beam has like in, immense range and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think that he's, once again, I don't think that anyone actually in the game is bad. That's why it only goes to B. Um, so that's something that I also want to say. Uh, the This, like Pokemon Unite is, in my opinion... Um, like there are mods with like extremely OP moves, um, but overall, I really do feel like if you have good team play, you can defeat anyone, anyone, even Talonflame. So um, it's um, like it's a good game. It's a good game. I like the balance in this game, and once again, it goes up until B tier, like from B up until S. And yeah, I, I specifically made an A plus because I really do feel like if I make a C tier, it's going to like indicate that the character is like bad, while there is no bad character really in this game. There just isn't. Like every single character has like a use, um, and regardless of like in my opinion, like some other characters just being. Um, just outdoing what other characters do. I feel like you can you can just play the character and still do really well. So um, yeah. Um, as well, um, in A tier, I also I basically also put the characters in that have never really carried my games. Okay, so this is also like a thing of my experience. I've never ha really had like an an Absol or a uh, Elder God Wigglytuff, a Gengar like once, or a Cinderace or Venusaur, and then as well the other two in B tier. I've never seen them carry my games, never. So um, that is as to why I put them all in A, and the A plus and S tiers are all the way where they are so um yeah <laughs> that's it i wish i had more time once again because it would have been really good to actually maybe put another character in the s tier um but yeah in the few days that i got i felt like town flame was still super annoying um and um pikachu was a lot less toned down also i felt like his ult was not as broken and as oppressive because from what i know he also has like a um he has like lag or like a moment that he takes a break um after his ult which gives you enough time to like destroy him in return if he did not die to it so um yeah that's kind of like it uh thank you guys so much for actually watching i uh, had a lot of fun making this tier list i had a lot of fun playing uh playing pokemon unite so um yeah i just honestly i i am so excited for the game to actually be out officially and to be playing this um well for you guys and uh maybe even with you guys uh, if you guys like this video once again put a uh, comment down below and uh, give it a like and everything and uh, let me know what type of other um, Pokemon Unite content you would like to see. I will probably make another video on Zero Aura coming as well. So um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.